Okay, so at this point, I have created a blog post, I've made use of several different types of blocks, and I'm ready to publish my post. But before I do that, I need to configure the post settings. So let's go through these real quick and talk about what each of these settings does. So at the top, you're gonna to see the section on status and visibility. So visibility determines whether your post is public, private, or password protected. Public obviously is visible to anyone. Private posts will only be visible to administrators and editors. And of course, password protected means you set an individual password for this post, and then anyone who tries to visit it will have to enter a password to view the content. Here you can choose the date for your post. By default, it will publish immediately and it will use the current time and date as the date for the post. However, you can also schedule it for the future or backdate it so that it appears as if it were published in the past. You can choose to stick the post to the top of the blog so that it always appears on top even when new posts are published after it. And then you can mark it as pending review. This is for posts that have been submitted by contributors and need to be reviewed by an editor. You can also choose which author account should be associated with this post, and if you want to delete the post, you can move it to the trash. And then you can choose the template for your post. Now generally, you won't have to edit this. Uh, the options here are determined by your theme, and this determines the layout of your post on the front end of your site. So for example, you may have a landing page template where you don't have a header or a footer and the focus is purely on your content. But again, most of the time, you're not gonna to have to change this. The next option is revisions. That's essentially a catalog of the past versions of this particular post. It's like your edit history. Under permalink, you can set a custom permalink for this post. And the option here is the URL slug. So a slug is basically just the URL friendly version of your post title. So you can see the post is called my example post. So the slug is my dash example dash post. But if you want the URL to be something else, for example, let's say we just want it to be example dash post, we can change that. And that will be the URL of the post. Now, just like your global permalink settings, I would advise against editing this once the post is published because you don't wanna have those broken links where people are pointing to a previous version of the post. Next up, we have categories. Categories are one of the two ways that WordPress organizes your content. So you have categories and you have tags, which is the next menu. So, you can use these however you want. There's not really a specific standard for how you have to use categories or tags, and you really don't have to use them if you don't want to. It's mainly just for organizing your content. So all of your categories will appear here as checkboxes. All we have is the default category, which is uncategorized. So if we wanna add something new, we can say food. And we'll click add new category and you'll see it shows up there and it is selected. So we'll unselect uncategorized. And by the way, you can also add subcategories. So if we wanted to add something a little more specific, uh, so we have, we have tacos here, so we'll say we wanna add a category for Mexican food. So we'll type Mexican and then we'll make the parent category food and click add category. And you'll see that Mexican appears as an indented item underneath food. Now moving down to tags, you don't have to use tags and a lot of people these days don't use tags, but this is generally sort of a more specific way to organize your content. So we categorize the post under food and Mexican and if we wanna narrow that down a little bit more, we can tag it tacos. So you'll notice that tags appear a little bit differently and they don't have the hierarchy structure that categories have. So you can have categories and subcategories, but tags are all sort of on the same level. Another thing to note is that every post is required to have at least one category associated with it, but you don't have to use tags. Now, by the way, if you decide not to use categories, as we discussed earlier, every post will just default to that default category uncategorized. Moving right along, we'll collapse these 
and go down to Featured Image. So this is sort of the thumbnail that's associated with your post. This may appear on your blog page. Some themes will show it at the top of your post itself. The way things actually display on the front end of your site depends entirely on your theme. And of course, we're gonna talk about that in the next section. But for now, the featured image is just another piece of metadata associated with the post. And so for this one, I'm just gonna select the taco photo. Below that, we have the option to write a custom excerpt. Now, generally, when you're displaying posts on your blog page, it's gonna display the first few words or sentences just straight from the top of the post. But if you wanna use a custom excerpt or description instead, you can write that here, totally optional. And finally, we have our discussion settings. So this overrides the global setting for your website, and you can choose to allow or not allow comments or pingbacks and trackbacks. All right, so those are your post settings. The next thing you wanna do is save your post, right? So you can save it as a draft if you wanna come back and edit it later. You can preview the post, click preview in a new tab. You'll see what that post is gonna look like on the front end of your site. Remember, we set the featured image. This is how this theme displays the featured image. It shows it very big at the top of the post. And then you'll see your post content down here. When you're ready, you can go ahead and publish your post. Just click on the publish button. Here you have a chance to confirm your settings and then click publish at the top. All right, we have published our post. We can click here to view the post on our site. And this is our live blog post.